Hi everyone, I'm Matt Gash with SoundersFC.com here next to an exuberant Arlo White after a 4-0 Sounders win over the Columbus Crew. Well, where'd you start with that? I mean, that, that was just tremendous. And, and to get such an early goal from, from Blaze, and we'll wait and see if that's the quickest ever goal in franchise history because it was in the fourth minute like Zakawan is against the crew, mm -hmm. ironically, at Questfield early in the season. But we'll get the, get the stopwatch out uh, and, see, and see if that's the fastest ever because um, that, was, that was such a boost to go ahead. But it was a night of firsts. It was the first time we've scored four. Mm -hmm. First night in Major League Soccer. Right. First night, uh, first time we've scored a penalty, mm -hmm. Nathan Sturgis. First time that we've scored a hat trick, Blaze Kufo. Uh, and so, first goals for Blaze Kufo and Nathan Sturgis in MLS. Yeah. I mean, it, it just goes on. It, it's incredible for all those things to happen on the same night. That's why this game is so ridiculous, isn't it? You wait all this time for these things to happen, and they, and they all happen, and the planets align on the same night. But what, what I thought was impressive was they battered Seattle for 25 minutes after, after we took the lead, and they had chances. And when we needed to be, Casey was magnificent in goal all night, but he made some key saves. He, he organised his defence. He came for those crosses that Scalotto puts in and the set pieces with real sort of assertiveness, uh, which gives your defence confidence. Leo had a torrid opening against Ekpo down here. I thought, oh, goodness, he's going to... Hopefully not, but he, he might be skinning him all night here. But Leo responded to the situation, got that red card out of his system, um, and, and they came back. So they weathered the storm when the Columbus crew could easily have got one, maybe two goals. And then to get two goals before half time was just, it was dreamland, wasn't it? And in the end, OK, Ke Keller made uh, a few more decent saves in the second half. But, you know, Freddie had a, a couple of chances. It could have been five, you know, but I, I'll take four. And that is a bonus three points. That really does fall into the bonus category. And, and on we go. And to happen in the middle of a road trip like this, magnificent. Yeah, and a great night, like you mentioned, from Casey Keller. Kind of lost in the shuffle because of all these great things happening on the offensive end. He calls it the best attacking game he's seen from this team. What are your thoughts on that regard? Well, I'm not surprised. I mean, I look back to this season. I can only really vouch for this season, I suppose. I mean, I was at the opening game against New York, the first ever game, and that was three. So, um, and you thought, well, it must be like this every week. And it, and it just isn't in football, is it? Um, you know, for me, I mean, Sana, excellent run, a good move that led to the penalty. Um, but the, the fourth goal actually was a thing of beauty, team-wise, because Zakawani, I was urging him in the, in the booth, go on, skin Hayduk. Because, I mean, he's been a great servant for US soccer, Hayduk, but he's 36. And, you know, and he isn't an Olympic sprinter, and Zakawani is fast. When he's got a bit of room to run at somebody and room behind that person to, to chase the ball. Uh, but his cutback was so good. And then the way Blaise Kufo drilled it, well, side-footed it, really passed into the top corner. You think, well, there's a guy that's just played in the World Cup, and you can see why. Um, Ziggy's been saying it, you know, I've said it a few times, once he gets one, he'll get a few. I didn't expect it to be this <laughs> within half an hour. Um, <laughs> but that's the way, and we'll take that too. And, uh, and great to see him smiling as well, because, you know, he's, he's a striker, he wants to score goals, he's adjusting to a new style of football, it's a very physical league. You know, he's been playing for a long time, since, uh, since July 2009, I suppose, pre-season. Great to see a smile on his face and again I reiterate what a bonus three points this is against a very good team. We, we've talked a bit about this uh, with with a little bit of the coaching staff after the game mm. really an, unsel an unselfish night for Freddie Montero he contributed yeah. a lot in this game and even though it doesn't show up in the score sheet it, kind of in a lot of the same ways Blaise Kufo did up to this point. Absolutely right and I said in the in the keys to the game on the broadcast on the television and the radio side of it my keys were uh, I can't remember how we phrased it now but, but find space for Freddie or something or buy buy Freddie some space whatever it was and meaning that that's Blaise Kufo's role that he has to to occupy two enormous centre halves in Andy Iroh and Chad Marshall, and and then play, uh, sorry, uh, Freddie could play in that hole behind him and and dictate the play and create chances and score goals maybe. And Freddie actually, as you say, did all the tireless work in a way. He was retrieving balls. He was getting his backside in the way in between the defender and the ball, making sure he, we, we as a team retained possession. And it was Kufo who came on the end of it and scored the goals. Not to say that Kufo didn't do some holding up work and donkey work himself. He did. But Montero was quite happy to play, in averting commas, second fiddle tonight to, uh, to a guy who had a hot hand, and that was Blaise Kufo. So that's great for the team as well. That is really good for the team. So th if this is a launching pad, then... Phew, we could go we could go to the moon on the basis of this performance but you know i need to calm down a bit <laughs>
<laughs> unbeaten now in nine of their last ten in MLS. Uh, really, this is a team on a roll and, and with uh, with still five games to play. Yeah, and Chicago lost today uh, against Real Salt Lake. Obviously, you'll know the other results by the time you watch this. Uh, we go to Chicago next week. You know, important to be in positive uh, goal difference as well. Positive one in goal difference. That's a tiebreaker after points, obviously, and after head-to-head. Then it comes down to goal difference, so it's important to, to, to get these landmarks. And, and I just think, and I've always said it, looking at, I looked at this schedule about two months ago and I looked at Kansas City, Chicago, Toronto. For me, they were the three games that would make or break the season because they're the three, games chase, three teams chasing us in the East. But this takes the pressure off a little bit, uh, a, you know, a, a bonus 4-0 win here against Columbus. But still a lot of football to be played, but this was a vital victory tonight. Next up in the MLS play, Chicago next Saturday. We have Monterey on Wednesday in Champions League play. A definitely a busy week ahead, but a 4-0 win here tonight at Crew Stadium. For Arlo White, I'm Matt Gash with SoundersFC.com.